kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the United States, and they take on Iran. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's how it looks for the United States. And so the match is underway. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, Christian Pulisic, someone who can dominate a game with his play on the ball. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers, and nobody can recover. And the flag does go up, must have been tight. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. And a good tackle. And they need to get tighter here. Chance to play it in. Can he convert? Nicely saved. Keen to take it short here. Now they've lost it. Now, who can he play it to? A gift for any goalkeeper. Aronson. Jesus Ferreira. And return to Pulisic. Sardar Osmond. to really get at the opposition here a no fine reading of the situation Weston McKenney way up he's in behind
Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Goal. One nil then. Sardar Osmoon. And can they prize them open now? This looks more than decent. Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. And the whistle is sounded for half to... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And is it going to end up being productive for them? And there's the feed into the box. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. They've regained possession. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. But I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. Just failing to hit the target with his pass and it'll be a throw in. Time for a change then. Serginho Dest. Wants to attack from the wide areas. And a chance to level it. Not comfortable in dealing with the ball played in. Throw ins given. Teammates available. It has to be. What an important piece of defending. He could pick out a teammate. And space available inside. And he's made headway. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. Number four, Tyler Adams. Entering the match, number 23, Kellen Acosta. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. Straight offside, but only just. Well, they could run onto it here.
Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. in the dying embers will it prove decisive here Osmond on the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly They're using his body to good effect and they need to get tighter here can he finish? might still be able to do a bit of damage and the final whistle is sounded it 